three things I really liked about the ROG Strix 790A. One, unique to Asus MOBOs are the Q-release on the main PCIe slot and the Q-latches for the M.2 base. Simple design elements but they make working in these areas so convenient. Two, it's designed for speed with its PCIe 5 main slot, 5,333 MHz of max speed for RAM, four PCIe M.2 slots, Wi-Fi 6A. This MOBO is the bedrock to having a fast system. And three, gorgeous aesthetic. I love the white-gray color scheme with just a little bit of RGB trim and the board itself has retro throwbacks to a classic game. There's an incremental improvement between the Z690 and Z790, mostly for a realignment favoring faster devices. In the Z690, for downstream lanes, you have 12 for PCIe 4 and 16 for PCIe 3. That's flipped on its head for Z790, which has 20 downstream PCIe 4 lanes and only 8 PCIe 3 lanes. With that number of lanes, you could theoretically have 5 NVMe devices attached to the chipset. Although the ROG Strix 790A Gaming tops out with 4 NVMe connections. This board will work with both Intel 12th and 13th gen and it uses DDR4 RAM. This is welcome news to those of us who are not yet ready to take the expensive plunge into DDR5. Specs-wise, the Strix Z790A has the numbers you would expect from a high-tier board. Not the bonkers, crazy top tier, but solidly above mid-range. For one, you have 16 plus 1 power stages, higher number better. As the more power stages you have, the better the board's ability to manage the heat generated from converting the 12 volt power given by the PSU to a lower voltage which the CPU can use and the precisely stable voltage that the CPU needs in order to run smoothly. All of that generates heat. The more power stages you have, the easier it is to manage that heat. 16 plus 1 is well above mid-range and gives more room for overclocking. Incidentally, the first number is the number of power stages dedicated to the CPU, so that's 16. And the last number indicates how many power stages for the rest of the board, so in this case, one stage. The VRMs on this board are quite large, great for heat dissipation. They are quite chunky in a good way, even compared to some of the other premium boards we've seen. We were provided with an Intel 13th Gen CPU prior to the launch date of these chips, so I'm a little wary of declaring actual numbers. But we did try to beat this thing up with Cinebench R23 for 30 minute stretches, and we were impressed by the low heat generated even at 100% load. This is a 6 layer PCB board, again in keeping with an above mid range board. 8 layers is usually what the top boards have, and average boards have 4. Simply put, the more layers a board has, the more room the designers have to optimize all of the connections and ensure stability. The hardware of the Strix 790A is impressive but also notable are the AI tools baked in to make it easier for both beginners and veterans to get the most out of their system. The four main AI tools are AI overclocking where the board detects your CPU and cooling and determines how far the system can be pushed. AI cooling sets fan curve for the ideal fan speed to noise ratio. AI two-way noise cancellation, which we've tried before in other Asus products, works great, seamless, and it's almost like magic to be honest. And AI networking is the automatic prioritization of certain types of traffic. So you do want your Overwatch 2 data prioritized, let's say over Netflix streaming, similar to QoS functions in routers. Of course, for the overclocking and the cooling, that's just the first step and you can tweak with manual settings to your heart's content. Finally, the I.O. section has a generous amount of ports, notably two USB-C ports as well as a handy clear CMOS button and BIOS flashback button. To sum it all up, the ROG Strix 790A Gaming is a very competent motherboard, which is what you would expect from a manufacturer like ASUS. You have all of the basic things that you want in a quality motherboard such as good VRMs, and the addition of all of the usual fast things like a PCIe 5 slot and the utilization of more of the PCIe 4 lanes. And because it's ASUS, they've thrown in some flavor by adding some AI capability. To be honest, we weren't able to try this extensively but it's something we want to look at more in the future. Because with the AI overclocking and the AI control of the fan curve, it provides a window for less techie people to enjoy a performance boost without having to monkey around too much with the settings. So getting more value for your money, even though you're just starting out in computers.
Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.